coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant Helicopter achieves first flight. Department of Transportation and Inspector General to audit Boeing 737 MAX certification process. And our AEA 2019 live schedule. Happy Friday and welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Our top story of the day, the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant helicopter achieved its first flight yesterday. The Defiant's two coaxial main rotors and rear-mounted pusher propulsors are designed to meet the U.S. government's desire for increased speed and range, while improving survivability and maneuverability. The aircraft uses X-2 technology, which will allow the Army to exploit gaps created in the anti-access area denial systems against adversaries. This flight marks a milestone for the Sikorsky Boeing team and further demonstrates the capability of X-2 technology. Defiant is the third X-2 in less than 10 years. Stick around, we'll be right back after these messages with Around the Patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With so much exciting news coming out of the aviation industry, we bring you Around the Patch. It's been over 30 years since the V-22 Osprey first flew and changed how the U.S. Marine Corps and Air Force operate in combat and humanitarian operations. More than 375 V-2 aircrafts have accumulated over 450,000 flight hours over a wide variety of missions. The V-22 will soon be used by the Navy to deliver personnel and cargo to its aircraft carriers. A Russian McCoy and Gervish MiG-21 has a new home at the Aerospace Center for Excellence. The aircraft was donated by Draken International to Aerospace Discoveries at Florida Air Museum, a key component of ACE. Mission Aviation Fellowship is responding to a humanitarian crisis caused by a cyclone in Mozambique. The organization has been conducting assessment flights and working with non-government organizations and coordinating rescue and relief efforts. For two decades now, the Aero News crew takes a day out of each year to poke fun at the aviation world and at ourselves with our annual April 1st episode. If you're looking for a laugh or two and want a tongue-in-cheek look at aviation news, check out our April 1st episode coming up in a little over a week. We'll be right back after these messages. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. Transportation Secretary Elaine Chow has asked the Inspector General to conduct a formal audit of the certification product for the Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft. You can find the entire memo from Chow to the Inspector General on the U.S. Department of Transportation's website at transportation.gov. And finally, next week's airborne schedule will be preempted 
so we can bring you the 2019 AEA Convention Trade Show live. Starting Monday, March 25th at 8.15 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Aero News will webcast the AEA opening session and the entire new product introduction program. This show will go on until around noon. We will then resume on Tuesday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. with around a dozen live interviews and we'll do the same Wednesday from 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Our annual production is sponsored by Aspen Avionics, Smart Sky Networks, Mid-Continent Instruments, and Avionics and Send Solutions. Good companies we're proud to host as partners. Log in to view all the excitement at airborne-live.net starting this Monday. Have a wonderful weekend.